everyone welcome back to a new video and welcome back to a new giveaway <laughs> so as you can see here i have some model ones solid cream colors now model ones have been kind enough to sponsor this giveaway they're giving away six no they're not they're giving away three six color solid gel sets they're giving away set one i will leave the link to the set in the description box below and i'm also going to put a picture of the colors that you get in the set somewhere here in a minute it's just coming here we are so these are the colors you get in set one so oh they're so amazing i really love these i love them because they are the, they're such a really nice consistency and they literally do not move in the pot they are not going to leak or anything well they don't leak i've had mine for for a few several weeks now and literally you see the little holes in them the little where i've dug out some of the product that has been there since like day dot so yeah they're they're brilliant anyway um so i thought for this giveaway we would do a very quick very easy gel polish set and um i can't remember what colors these were annoyingly they do do this really nice set that i don't actually have yet i'm hoping that they might send me one it's got some really nice summery other summery colors in it so oh this honestly oh you need these solid cream colors in your life i'm just doing an ombre vertical ombre here with two of the colors now i'm not they they do ombre considering one of these colors is dark and one of them is lighter they ombre if you work at the ombre they blend really nicely um but i'm not 100 percent fussed about this um blend anyway because i'm going to put some glitter pixels on this nail so don't panic too much so i'm just going to carry on working that blend and just you know fiddling as i do faffing that's what i meant and then i will pop this into the lamp because i think this is the second coat i'm sure i've done the first one already yeah and then i think this is the third it's not even i don't even think i i literally thought i'd just make that pink side a little bit more pink yeah i think that's all i've done <laughs> sorry i'm not doing very well in this video am i um the 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 next the next sort of nails i'm gonna do two full nails of this gorgeous I don't even know what you call this colour, like um I don't know, like a purpley, burgundy -y, pinky. It's just a really it's a delicious colour. <laughs> if it was a food, I'd eat it. That was weird. <laughs> it just came out. Hashtag I'm being a weirdo. No, hashtag weirdo. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna do two nails like that. And then I'm gonna do two nails of white so i yeah each nail has two coats and i cure these for sometimes i cure them for 30 seconds and then i do like a full cure of 60 seconds i think they only need 30 seconds but i'm not entirely sure so i i always like to do 60 just in case and then we're going to use the black color to just paint on actually um i can't take credit for this these flower this i mean i'm not copying it you know to the to the dot but i just saw this really easy floral design on pinterest um if i can find the if there's a like a person's name on it i'll put i'll put it in the i'll put it somewhere so you can see if there isn't i don't know who done this sorry but i did like their design so because i just wanted to do a nice simple gel polish set with these colors I thought oh that one will be quite nice so yeah um i'm using the purple to create the flowers so i'm gonna 
purpley flowers. So we're going to create like a couple of buds. I'm going to put another bud down the bottom there in a minute, but I'm going to create a flower. Literally, all I'm going to do to create the flower is create two, no, not two, um, three petals. And that's pretty much going to be like the outline of the flower. I don't even know what flower this would be if it was a flower, like a real life flower. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure flowers have more than three petals usually, but it doesn't matter. It just looks like a flower and that's the main thing. <gasps> a clover. Clovers have three leaves, don't they? And then if you're very, very, very lucky, you find a four leaf clover, don't you? Is that right? But this isn't a clover because clovers are green. So I'm going to put another bud down here. And I'm not going to cure it, so don't cure it just yet. I'm going to take the light blue colour and I'm going to put a little bit of this in the kind of centre middle of the flower, like the centre of the petals in towards the middle of the flower. And we're just going to blend the blue out a little bit so that it looks like it's got like a little bit of... I just didn't want the whole... I wanted... yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to take the silver and I'm just going to add some dots to the middle of the flower and I'm also going to just add some like little silver dots on the what would be the leaves but they're not green they're like black but the, and the stems the stems sorry I'm just going to like add some little silver dollops just to just to add a little bit more detail I don't even know what they are they just yeah I just thought I'd pop them on and then this one um, it was tacky but it wasn't as tacky as I like it so I'm gonna put a thin layer of base coat over that and I'm using the model ones base coat it's the, I don't know how you say it leafu I always say it wrong so it might not be right um, but it's you know model ones base coat um, thin layer cure in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna use the atomic glitter pixels from nail sugar by the way, this will be a great time, oh, and I'm using this old brush, a great time to let you know that if you did want to get 10% off any nail sugar glitters, etc., anything at nail sugar, you can use my code NATMOG10 and you'll save yourself 10%. Also, if you did want to buy anything from Model 1s, like say you can't wait for this competition to be drawn, um, you can buy these from Model 1s. And if you use code NATALIE00, again, you can save yourself 10%. So I've literally just used my brush to burnish those glitter pixels into that tacky layer on the of the base coat, sorry. And then we're going to use our Model 1's top coat and it's top coat time. But this isn't as exciting because there's no, like, there's no, there's not a lot of glitter. There's glitter pixels, but not a lot. But I do find that once your designs are top coated, it kind of just brings the design to life a little bit more. Um, these two are just the plain, I don't know what the colour is, but it's gorgeous, the plain colour. Um, I've also, I have done two of those floral nails. And then obviously we've got our ombre nail with the glitter pixels on that we need to top coat. Um, you can do, I just, yeah, I usually wipe my hand down the edge just so that I don't, I don't, don't want any glitter pixels to be poking out the edges. And then we're going to go over the top coat. If you do find that it is still a little bit bumpy on the top, you can buff it over, buff over like the surface and then go over with another coat. And then this is the finished set. So I will, oh, they're so pretty, aren't they? But anyway, um, I will, the, the winners will be announced in a couple of weeks. All you have to do is comment on the video below. Anything you like, just comment on the video and I will choose someone, three peoples, yeah, in about two weeks. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.